Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Working Horses with Jim. I'm Brenda, and I wanted to share with you what's going on in the horse barn this morning. All the horses are in. It's getting cooler at night. Jim's bringing them in. Duke's over here in lady stall because lady is up getting shoes on at Eli's this morning, and Jim's up there with her because it's time for her to get back to work. So you know what that means? It means that Bree is having a babys babysitter for the first time this morning when her mom isn't even here on the farm. So let's see who's babysitting and how she's doing. Good morning, Bree. How are you doing? You look terribly upset that your mom's not here. Not. She doesn't look too upset at all. Yeah, you're handling it with in stride. And soon you're going to be weaned. But she's a very good grass and hay eater. And this is her babysitter. Uncle Earl. Oh, Earl, you're doing such a great job. Chilling in here with Bree. Recently, I have started um, trying to tame Breeze, or to get Breeze <laughs> mane to go on one side, but it's not working that good. But we'll keep working on it, brushing it every day. I'm going to have to start wetting it down. Anyways, I just wanted to share with you that Bree is growing up. Our little Bree is growing up, and she's handling life well right now. Thanks Earl for your kindness this morning. It is a beautiful fall morning. Good morning everybody. This is the next day of our video here and uh, we got shoes on Lady yesterday and I actually was, I let William take Lady and Ken out just to get him more used to those two horses working together and that went really well. I was able to um, hitch both Duke and Earl with Ken also, give them a little lesson. The guys are continuing on the uh, tiling even today this should be the last day and I'll show you later in this video an update on all that they've done there but today I wanted to talk about Lady and Bree a little bit so let's go get them and put them into their stalls So you better hear her shoes on the concrete floor. Go ahead, Bray. There's an egg. Brenda, there's an egg in the manger again. Okay. Yesterday, no. there was an egg in there, and you didn't get it, did you? Neither did I. I was going to pick it up and bring it in. I forgot, and it was gone. So I think we got either a chicken or uh, maybe the cats. No, somebody broke an egg yesterday. I saw that. I didn't get it. But... In there? Yeah. They broke. There was a broken egg in there. I threw it out. Okay. 
Well, pretty soon the, ch the chickens will be spending more time in their coop. They're going a little rogue. Bree's a little bit thirsty and we'll bring her in next to the lady. And we'll talk about what we're going to do. It's amazing how much Bree is starting to eat hay, grain, and, and, and water too. Okay, Brenda, if you want to start brushing. Okay, so today I kind of want to talk a little bit about how I'm going to go about weaning Brie. There's a lot of different ways to do this. I used to raise quite a few foals years ago, but I, this is the first foal I've had for probably 20 years, 25 years even. Yeah, probably. And so um, I have to think back of how I used to do it and then talk to other people to see how they do it. And uh, But generally, uh, I would always used to um, wean my foals at five months. So sometimes I would just cold turkey, just separate them, and they're, they're, they're done. You know, there'll be a bunch of screaming and hollering for a few days, but then they get over it pretty fast. But sometimes I like to do it gradually. And that's sort of what I've been doing this year even. Um, the more I pull Lady away from Bree, the more she gets used to being alone. And by having her uncles, which is Duke and Earl, um, they're available to be with her, it just makes it so much easier because it's just that, um, that company that they, she has, that she's used to, that makes it really good. Um, Lady is quite good also. Um, she, she has been pulled away quite a few times to be worked. Now, as a lot of you guys know, a lot of people will work their mares, you know, a couple weeks after they have the foal, they'll start working their mares. But I haven't really needed to with Lady because I've had enough other horsepower and it's just such, it's been such a poor summer in a lot of ways with haying. We haven't done the haying we normally do. So we've been able to get along fine without using Lady too much. But um, I have pulled her away and, and worked her a little bit just to kind of get Brie used to being alone or at least not with her mother. So that's probably what I'm just going to continue, although she is almost five months old. And so I want to be able to, to get her weaned and put Lady back to work even more on a full time basis. And so I will probably go in the, within, in the next couple of weeks, I'll have her completely weaned, um, which would be at five months. And uh, we'll just um, start pulling her away more and more. And then I'll probably just all of a sudden leave her right outside with Duke and Earl and leave Lady in the barn um, and work in every day. So. That's my plans on weeding. Did, is there anything else I was going to say and I forgot about, Brenda? Can't think of anything. Okay. You're the so, expert, not me. I'm not the expert. <laughs> but anyways. So I am very happy with the shoes that we got on Lady's feet. We were, we did decide to put bar shoes back on her front feet, which is hard to see, but because of the mud that she was in. Let me see if I can get the other side of it. It might be cleaner. Lady, get her. Lady, get your butt over. Her. She doesn't want to run into me. Right, Lade? So we'll pick this foot up and see if it's any better. Let me just clean it up a little bit. Well, let me, let me get my knife or pick and clean some of the dirt out of there. So this is just a flat shoot that we're using on her, and uh, we got some of the stair. Oh okay. <laughs> girl, there we go. But as you can see, we have a bar across here to put more pressure on the frog, and the more pressure that's on the frog will help the blood circulation, which makes for a healthier foot. 
And so that's what we need to do because she does have issues with her front feet. And uh, those bars really seem to help her. So anyways, she is ready to go back to work. We'll probably work her a little bit today. And Bree will be with her uncles at least a half a day today. And uh, yeah, things are going well with her. I really haven't done much training with her lately. I really haven't let her around much or anything. And I need to get back at doing that at least a little bit. But uh, even picking up her feet, I really haven't done much. It's amazing with these colts, as they aren't getting handled as much, they're, um, they kind of go downhill as far as their um, willingness to, to be handled. So it's, it is so important. If you can and have the time to keep after them, it really helps a lot. I'm actually looking forward to this winter because I'm going to make sure she's in a lot of the time will be in a straight style tide so that I have to handle her. I have to lead her to water. I have to do all this stuff, which goes so, 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 so good in the whole training process. Okay, so I want to give you guys an update on the tiling job. Um, I'm very pleased it's all done now. I was kind of uh, assuming, uh, incorrectly, that uh, they would do something as far as flattening down these um, furrows where the tiles went, but they do not and they, they never do. I, just, I was just under the assumption that they would. So he suggested that we just take a uh, normally people would just straddle it with their tractors in a big disc and kind of flatten it down and then they could start plowing. Since I have just horses and a just small disc, it's really not going to do too much. So I'm not really sure what I will do. I probably will end up hiring somebody with a tractor to come in here and just run over these. He said just a couple times is usually all it takes. It's amazing. I know that um, from seeing it elsewhere that just by letting it sit for you know over the winter a lot of it will settle right back down into the earth and so there won't be anywhere near the size piles that I have now but uh, yeah off to our right it's all done I showed you in the last video off to our left that was done and uh, I'm very pleased with it I'm going to show you now the pipe going into it and we actually ended up doing a little bit more work down here um, with the ditch and um, at my pond. So here's the water coming out of the tile. I would have loved to do a lot more, but um, money just uh, is the issue here. You can only, you know, you can only do what you can afford and I'm not going to spend more than I can afford. And so that's why we did stop. But we ended up with approximately 12 acres, just a little bit under 12 acres that we did the complete tiling job. And then we've got a new six inch main on another section that we'll hopefully do next year. So let's go look at the what I asked the guys to work on a little bit while they were working on this ditch. I asked them to do a little bit of work in my pond. So we, as we approached the cabin and our pond, I decided to, since he's right here, I had a lot of uh, cattails in my pond that I really needed to get out of there and I was doing some with my little excavator earlier this summer. I was hoping for it to dry out, but it never did. And so there was still some in the very center and he was able to clean them out with the excavator, his big excavator. And he actually made the pond, oh, at least, at least a third bigger 
maybe even close to half, I mean, almost, almost twice as big as it originally was. And so we're very happy with that. He didn't really spend a lot of time down here because he was so fast with that big excavator, but he did, um, there's a kind of a trail all the way around. And uh, yeah, we we're very pleased with this pond now. And hopefully this winter we can do some sleigh rides and some skating parties out here on the pond. We've done this for quite a few years now, but we've always had a little bit of issue with the pond and maybe this will help us out there. So overall, I'm very pleased with the tiling and the work that they, the guys did down the pond. And uh, we we'll, really won't know till another year or two because it actually takes a little bit of time for the, the tile. Another thing is I haven't told you, the tile is buried approximately four feet. Now for the, it takes a while for the soil to open up capillaries or, or canals, water canals down to these perforated pipes. So it actually takes a little while before the pipes are really working properly. So um, time is going to tell on how I'm, my, the, how I'm really satisfied with it after I see the results in the next couple of years. So let's go on to our next project. <laughs> You miss your mama? So this is what Jim was hauling back with Lady and Ken. We have our neighbor Brian did some work on it so Jim just decided to go with Lady and Ken and get it back home again and he's gonna have to explain to you what was done at some point but um anyways it was a good way for Lady to get out and get back into the groove of things get a little work done so that's what they were up to this morning.
I'm going to kick these guys outside because Earl keeps getting out to that gate. Get. Yes, he does. Get. 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 Come on, get. 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 Come on. Come on. Come on. Get him. Get. 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 So what I'm doing is I don't want to bring Bree in yet because I want them to have a full half day separate so I will put them together after lunch. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. We shall see you next time. And who knows what we'll be talking about then or showing you then. But you guys have a great day. Thank you.